Hello, my name is Stryker, and today I'm going to be reviewing Studio Series number 22, Dropkick. Alright, so, so some things I like to get out of the way is, um, well actually first, this is what he comes, this is what he, when he comes out of the package, he's in robot mode. He has these little guns. Uh, which these things will later turn into a uh, missile thing for his um, helicopter mode. Alright, so before we get to start it, um, I th my dropkick, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure, like I'm 99% sure this thing it has a slight defect, but it only bothers the figure like this much. It only impacts the figure that much. Um, Alright, so I'll get there when we get there, but first let's go over this guy. Alright, so so this is actually a pretty cool helicopter mode. I think it's a pretty cool helicopter mode. Um, So he never looked like this in the movie because, spoiler alert, um, he scans the car first, then he scans the helicopter. So he never had the helicopter mode by itself. So... But then again, this thing was, this figure, I'm pretty sure this figure was released before the Bumblebee movie even came out. So, yeah. Anyways, so, he has this sort of like, backpack looking thing. It's not the biggest, no, actually it's not that bad, because in the Bumblebee movie, he had this giant cone thing, look cone looking thing on his back. And he had the helicopter rotors. And the Oni kind of kibble that I that really annoys me would be this part right here in the arms so this stuff like the propeller will just because his hands and arms becomes the back end of the helicopter overall that but besides that it's um pretty cool and one more thing is that um well on the box there was a Decepticon logo right here but it's not there so yeah anyways so let's go for articulation so when i see well when i see people with their own dropkick figure i notice that they either keep the shoulders like this or they keep them like that so personally um i like how they both look but for the review i'm going to keep it like that so he has a ball joint right here on the shoulder um his head is, it might be on a, I think it that head's on a soul. Nothing at the wrist. Um, he does have elbow, it's elbow, yeah, elbow articulation goes 90 degrees. Um, let's see what else. No wrist articulation, I mean, you could move the wrist like that but that just ends up moving all this so for his legs he has nothing at the waist um he could do the splits actually here's here's where my problem's kind of at um i don't know if you guys can see this very well but um let me move this stuff out of the way but right here these legs are up as far as it can go and um if you guys Actually, I'll do it right here. So, in helicopter mode, you gotta fold that leg like that. See how it sits nice against that? But, once we go to the other side, you would notice that that's as far as it could go. And the reason for this is because in here, there's this, like, little... Hold on, how can I show it? I don't... Well, the thing that's connecting his legs that move it let down, on this side, it's backwards. So doesn't really affect the figure that much uh he could still transform perfect almost perfectly but that's my only complaint um i'll may or may not fix try to fix it later but for right now let's just leave him how he, how he is all right now let's get some comparisons up in here here's bra again well, if you guys saw the Jazz review, you would know I compared Jazz and... I compared this guy with Jazz. 
And here's Bone Crusher, as you can see. Really, um, actually, the kind of dropkick. Uh, he's taller than Jazz, but um, he's um, let's see. Yeah, he's taller than Jazz. Uh, he's a deluxe. He's a Voyager's. Um, looks pretty good. Pretty good scaling, I would think. And now we get Deluxes, Jazz, and Quobar. Um, these are pretty cool. And pretty good scaling, I, I would think. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's get this guy in helicopter mode. Alright, so first what you want to do is, the, the you would start, we first have to work with these arms. So, you would first unfold all of this helicopter stuff until you get Dropkick looking like, um, he's got some, like, praying mantis arms or something. So that's what you want. Next, you would grab it right here and just turn it like that so you could see where the helicopter is going to start to begin start to form same with the other side just gonna fold it down and turn it like that then you get you get this so next this is where the complicated stuff starts happening you're gonna lift this part right here no wait first you're gonna lift that and this will allow the head to go in the cockpit and just leave it up there so these arms actually lock in right here, so when you put this, you can't you can't move it. But once you open this, you you can move this thing down, and you can find you can pull it out like that. So I'll just do that with the other side right here and pull it up. All right. So what you want to do is just you're basically you're just gonna do this. I'll show you right here. So this is how the arm looks. And once you unfold it, it's just, it, you're just going to have to line it up like that. And you can see the helicopter tail right here. So next, you're just going to make sure this thing is out of the way. Make sure this part, the propeller part, is all the way down. So you could actually fold these wings all the way up. And once you do that... These wing, these helicopter pieces will start to tab in right there. All right, see, this part will become the back of the helicopter. And these blue things are here. You're just going to push those down, those down, and get these out of the way, and get the propeller out of the way. All right, now we're going to start working on the front of the helicopter. So pull these legs down, and then you're just going mean, to, once everything's out of the way, you're just going to turn it. Um, like that, all right? Then you get this piece and make the front of the helicopter, the top half of the helicopter. All right, so now for the legs. So you're just gonna untab this side of the leg and fold it out like that. Actually, before you do that, you're gonna go to the back and move the ski thing don't know what that's called and unfold the little helicopter wings that are right here i'll show it more clearly on this side so just move the heel the ski things right there and on this blue thing right here which is like a tiny little wing opens and next you're just gonna finally unfold everything oh wait wait anyway, before you do that sorry before you unfold everything, you're just gonna turn it like that, all right? And then you can finally unfold it. There we go, see? Same with the other side. Just gonna turn this piece all the way around like that. Then you could unfold it. And on this side, there's a little tiny gun mini gun you could flip out and just leave it right there all right so we're almost done so this is what you get so next you're gonna turn the leg around this way 
Same with the other side. Turn it around. And then fold it like this. And then this will just go in here and so this is what it's gonna so you're gonna do this and then you're gonna push it in on this joint right here so this joint let me just and there's these little hook things right here which will go right here into the side of the knee and there so you're done with one side as you can see uh almost done same now okay this is where that mouth that um defect i mentioned earlier comes into play um so notice how on this side the leg doesn't really stick out that much right but then when you go on this side and i'm just gonna try to try well i'm gonna transform it and all right so just try to line everything up first <laughs> all right and before we do that we're, before we look at the problem you're just gonna tab these two pieces together like that there we go and then you're just gonna put it up and boom we're practically done for the helicopter before we do mess with this stuff i'm gonna show you the my problem all right so on this side you could see it's almost entirely flat but when you look on this side you could see that his leg is sticking out and that's because that little joint thing that was connecting his leg to his hip is turned backwards which means that this leg can't go in all the way now you can still transform and i'll show you right now so now we will just get finished with this transformation this part which is like the vent will tab into this slot right here there we go now on this side you could do it um it's gonna look a little weird, but you could still do it. You could still do it. And let me just line up everything. And let me open the propeller. And there we go. Let me see. Yeah, this is this is it. This is the final product you get. There we go. Now, um, this side always goes down, but it's okay. It's not that bad, honestly. Um, so I don't think you, you guys might not be able to see this, but I'm going to try to show it to you. Hold on. So because of that problem I mentioned earlier, this side, this vent can go, sits nice and flush against the helicopter, but this side is sticking out a little bit because the leg doesn't go all the way in. So... Um, I'm gonna try to find a way to fix that, but if I can't, it's okay. It's not a big deal. The helicopter still looks fine. Anyways, now let's get his guns. So, these are his guns. So, this part you're just gonna flip in. Same with the other side. When you flip it in, you get this little missile pod thing, which will go in right under these little wings so there's one and there's two and that's we're done this is the helicopter mode all right so so let's get some things out of the way so i yes this is a very great um helicopter mode like the the helicopter when i mean yeah helicopter mode mode all right so m o l d mode so like like i really love the transformation on this thing uh it's really really actually pretty cool um, brilliant engineering on this thing so um 
So this helicopter thing, there's like a there's a joint right here, so you could angle it. You could see right here, angle it any way you want. Now, in terms of accuracy, uh, this is um actually this is a pretty um terrible representation of drop kick, because um now the the helicopter mode it um looks actually pretty accurate to the film uh only saw that the helicopter was only in the film for like uh, i don't know how long the helicopter was in the film for but it looked this looks pretty accurate from what i saw in the movie now i don't know what type of helicopter this is this is but i could tell you it looks pretty cool um this little propeller in the back can spin freely this one can't but I'm thankful for that because then it would be all loose when you're in robot mode and trying to transform it and get in the way. Um, he's got the number one right here and a little pirate flag right there, which is cool. You could see his head through the cockpit, but again, they couldn't. They probably couldn't do anything. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty cool helicopter. Mode. I know they're using it again for drift from Age of Extinction towards helicopter mode. Uh, they actually fixed some things like. The chest and the um, the arms, which honestly on drift it looks a lot better, but I'm not gonna get drift because um, well it depends. I'll have to see a couple reviews, but um, yeah, this is um pretty cool helicopter mode. Um, it's really inaccurate when you go to the robot mode, but for figure, uh, this is pretty cool. Um, sad part about this is whenever I go to Target or Walmart or any store actually. Um, whenever I go into a transformer section, uh, dri uh not drift, um, drop pick is literally the only one there. Uh, well, he, well, there's some, there's some others, some mostly, most of the time there's other figures, but drop kick is like nobody wants them. It's so sad, but you know, it's pretty cool. Um, let's get size comparisons. You can see, um, in helicopter mode. He really stretches himself out. I mean, if you extend Bone Crusher's uh, fork all the way, you he's obviously shorter, but I don't think that counts. Um, ta he's longer than Bra, um, but a lot skinnier. Um, and you bring in some deluxes. Well, for Jazz, he's a lot longer and bigger than Jazz. Um, pretty sure the cockpit is pretty decent size, so. Same thing with Crowbar, pretty good size. Anyways, that's pretty much it. So, let's see, the transformation. I will give the transformation, um, ignoring the little defect I have, I would give it um maybe an eight no wait actually maybe nine nine yeah nine is pretty fun a little bit fiddly um but besides that it's okay the figure itself like just the actual figure like not who the figure is supposed to be i meant the actual figure it's pretty fun this is a really awesome helicopter mode and but in terms of accuracy i have to give this Unfortunately, you have to give this like a three for accuracy. The only thing accurate on him is like the shins and the face, but besides that, it's pretty inaccurate. Anyways, here's the last view of the helicopter mode. Pretty cool. Um, only, yeah, you could only tell it's a turn into a robot from the hand sticking out right here and from the bottom, and of course, head and cockpit. But besides that, it's really cool. Um, that's that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye.